Welcome to video 26 of series 3 and in this video I'll do a bit of cleanup before the next video which will be your assignment. Okay, so I need to remove some uh, components that are no longer required. They were just for example purposes. For example, the detection script, the shoot script. I um, also want to do some folder management here too. So in my scripts, I'm just going to make a new folder. I'll call it chapter 1. And just take all of these and just drop them in there. Okay. Uh, now with that done, uh, I want to also change the way uh, the walkthrough wall script works and also the trigger example. I want, uh, what I want to happen now is for uh, the walkthrough wall to change based off a, um, a based off an event. Alright. So I need to do a bit of script editing to make that happen. And one thing I'm going to do is remove the reference to the walkthrough wall script. I don't want to do it that way anymore. I just want the event to take care of everything uh, with respect to that. So I'll just get rid of all of this. I won't have a void on trigger exit method anymore. And I'll get rid of void on trigger stay. I'll get rid of this bit in the set initial references. And also, uh, when on trigger exit happens, I'm going to also destroy the trigger. So I'm going to say destroy game object finish. And it'll get rid of the trigger as well, and it's used up. Okay, now coming back, now I need to go to the walkthrough wall script and edit that. Uh, I'm going to make use of the on enable and on disable to subscribe uh, to the event. And uh, so I need a new private variable. So private event master event master script I'll need a set initial references method my own one void set initial references and I'm going to say uh, event master script is equal to game object dot find and I know the name of it it's the game manager and dot get component event master that's it so now i've got the reference to it now I, of course i need to call set initial references i don't want these lines of code anymore i'm not going to set it like this i don't need a public method anymore just private i'm not going to be setting the layer back to default so i'll just get rid of that it will stay permanent and now i'll subscribe to the method event master script dot my general event plus equal uh, the set layer to not solid. Okay, so then I'll just uh, copy that, bring it over to on disable, make sure to unsubscribe if this game object is disabled or destroyed. And uh, that should pretty much take care of that. It looks like I've got the necessary references that I need. Okay, and I'll go ahead and make a few more spawn enemy spawns so that a couple more of them here and another one over there for example and I'll just uh, set this one again let me go back to the original one just move it back a little bit okay I think I'm ready to go I'll hit maximize on play save my scene and go okay so it's just waiting for me to walk into the trigger bang there we go and uh oh the walls changed and the triggers gone and there are lots of enemies and now I can just destroy them. And that was nice and easy. All right. So there you go. Now you see how it works. So with a single event, uh, lots and lots of stuff has happened. And the scene, uh, well, the whole game works uh, a lot better and more efficiently. So that was really simple. Okay, so that was a bit of a cleanup for the scene, a bit of scene management and stuff. I can also could also put these inside of a master spawn group. But anyway, uh, that's it for this video. In the next video, I'm going to give you an, an assignment to do, and it'll use everything that you've learned up to now, and a, maybe a bit of your own research capability. All right, so thanks for watching, and see you then.